Here's a chord change secret for you. We're going to do A to B minor. Now, when I have to do an A to a B minor, I'll do the A like this. So I have my second finger down on the second string, and I make my first finger get the other two notes on the fourth and the third string. You have to make sure you have a big ski slope bend here in the finger. You don't want your finger like that. You want it pushed in. You also want to be hanging your arm weight, what we call the heavy arm in the principles. You want your arm weight adding to the pressure of the fingers. In fact, the arm weight is first and then the fingers do their work. So there's my A chord. Now what I'm going to do as I begin to go into the B minor, I'm going to slide up with two and at the same time bring my three and four together to over and overlap them like this. Check out my video on finger overlap and I'm going to swing around. I'm going to keep my one, my bar finger like this in kind of a curve. Then I come, I place these fingers down here and then the bar, which is really only getting two strings. And there's the chord change. You want to feel the separation between one and three. That is very critical. Do not, this is what happens to a lot of people. That's a result of an undeveloped hand and you want to keep your fingers out like that. And that's what it looks like when you do it fast. If you want to get your fingers working at the professional level on guitar, you want to play fast scales, easy chord changes and hammers and pulls, then get the principles of correct practice for guitar, which is your basic training for getting your fingers to work like a pro.